look at that eagle statue. Now, I hear the brothers. Come to sample the rare delights of the upper castle, eh? Just watch out for Filch and his cat, Thanks Mrs. For the heads Norris. Up. Anyway, we'll trade the portrait password for, oh, say, red every flavour beans? Chili powder flavour. Hot as blazes. Swearing already. Alright, turn, time to turn this eagle into a bird and set this table free to move on to the next level. All right, this puzzle is relatively easy. No challenge here. There we go. Ah, uh, golden sparkles. Yep. There's the emblem. There's our bird. Soaring free and wild. Wild and free. Yum. All right, I'm gonna go, ooh, secret passageway at the top. I'm gonna try that door over there first. Alright, nothing much else to explore here. <laughs> oh, a gift! I like getting gifts. It's Sober Potty Potter! This dweeb again! Let's have a chase through the attic then. If you beat me to the end, I might give it back. This guy looks like he's been All bullied right, his whole life. See, shall we? Off we go then. One of those annoying guests who think who thinks they're always funny. Alright, we've got Abby Fords! Yeah. Easiest puzzle in the whole game so far. This bookcase is looking awfully thin. You know what that means? It's a secret passageway. And let's see this one. This one looks a bit thin. Uh, no, it's rather thick. It is not a secret passageway. All right, let's explore this bookshelf. Aha, I found the passageway. Hello, Harry. Try and get ten every flavor beans from the kitten before time runs out. Watch out for those unstable blocks. Thanks, Good Headless luck. Nick. Oh, it's Nibble's little cat. Yep. Oh, damn it. There's one. Ooh. Just about. Oh, I didn't even get the beam. <laughs> even the cat fell too. Five. Four. Three. Two left. Oh, damn it, how did I miss that? Come on, come on. Oh, it's appearing. Woo, two right here. I can't restart. Yeah, I'm going to turn. Well done, Harry. You collected all ten Bertie Bot's beans. Have this famous witches and wizards card as your reward. Man, I want points. I don't want these crummy game cards. What's the purpose of these game cards anyway? Can't use them for anything. Roderick Plumpton. 1889 to 1987. Mm. Seeker for England Quidditch team. 
holds British record for fastest capture of snitch during game. Three Ooh. and a half seconds. That's impressive stats to be running. This guy's like a soccer player collectible card. Keep him in the books. Why am I collecting purple jelly beans? I thought this area is supposed to be all red jelly beans. Can't go back. Oh, my life bar is so dangerously low. Come on, table. There we go. Come on. Nice. We start here. You must run across the roof beams. I've covered some of them in slippery flobber mucus just for you, Potter. If you get to the end before me, you win! Off we go, Potty Potter. Trying to prove himself, I guess. He always, he's always so self-entertained by his own little puzzles. <laughs> I'm dead. Slide. Can't do anything to me. I can't do anything to it. So basically, this is essentially a great ride. Nothing much more to it. Don't die. Don't die. Good. Yay! Oh. I want to really get this one out of the way. Finally! Some Gryffindor points! So this part is not so tricky at all. I now okay, this is the last leg and this is the part where I just need to beat him. Hey, I'm there already. Got a chase! Not fair! Page wasn't No, Pete, you orchestrated this whole thing. You were ready from the beginning. Your father left this invisibility cloak in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. To activate this cloak, pick up the invisibility tokens. They will only work for a short time. Okay. So now we've got the iconic hold it up in triumph. So this cloak is going to be used to actually uh, sneak around the whole castle on the third floor. So now we can actually have some access. Do some of the secrets that are hidden. Ooh, now how to get up there? Oh, I just came from there, yeah. Now this door is unlocked, I can make my way on to the next puzzle.
Okay, so this is the puzzle where I need to sneak around and use my invisibility cloak. I could really hear the cat for, um, Filch, is it? Yeah, I think his name is Filch. Yeah, well, let's just say Filch. Ah, uh, he's there lying in wait for us. Hmm. Yeah, not much matter in the room. Well now, students aren't allowed in here, are they? There are things in the yeah. forbidden corridor that are not for the eyes of mere boys like you. No, no indeed. Dumbledore has ordered that no students are to enter this corridor. And don't go trying a secret passage. Mrs. Norris and I know them all. Now be off with you before I have you expelled for wasting our time. Is he calling Miss Norris because he feels like he needs a female companion? And good on you, mate, for going on at it alone and forgetting to escort me back to my dorm. And leaving the door unlocked as well. Yeah, probably should save. It's going to be a big, um, it's going to be an annoying puzzle that could fail on me. Let me see my progress. 55, not bad, we're halfway there. Okay, that door was so loud, there's no way he could not have heard me. They haven't explained the mechanism here, but apparently it's a stealth mechanism, or a stealth adventure, stealth puzzle. With the cloak, now to get the key. Yeah, so there's no timer. On the invisibility, but there is a timer in the in the sense there's a song. So when the song finishes, the invisibility wears off. This has got to be a passageway, right? No, it's not. Press square a bunch of times. It's not a passageway. What a surprise! Yes, Mr. Filt, what is it? Uh, Professor Snape, you said to alert you if I heard anyone sneaking yes, around in Professor the forbidden Filch. corridor. Well, Mrs. And Norris and I professor. suspect that one of the students may That's be incorrect. trying to sneak past he's us. He's not a professor, he's a I more see. of a groundskeeper. That's very interesting, Mr. Filch. And I have an idea who it might be. But we have ways of dealing with interlopers. Yep, it's me. You have my permission to use the harshest measures necessary. There is something very special in the Forbidden Corridor that I've had my eye on for some time. We can't let anyone interfere with my plans, can we, Mr. Filch? No, indeed, Professor Snipe. Mrs. Norris and I will be extra vigilant watching out for intruders. See that you do, Mr. Filch. I have something special planned for anyone who tries to defy me. Yeah, but you're gonna have to catch us first. They spent their whole time there not realizing that we were just standing right behind them. Where did Mr. Pilch go? Yeah, he's nowhere in sight. All right, might we just go back into, might we just continue the journey. And I'll have to collect here. Ah oh well. <laughs> All right, 
So he's moving that way to the fur furthest end. End. Ah, crap. And he's doing his rotations clockwise around the whole room. Alright, so that gives me an opportunity for whenever he goes down the hallway for me to sneak across the room. Yeah, take a little 180. There you go. Nobody's here. You got nothing to worry about. Ooh, you don't want to be seen. Let's <laughs> try to get this right. Thing about the cat. Because the cat is uh, an assistant to Mr. Filch, yeah. Anytime the cat sees you, Mr. Filch catches you too. So you gotta sneak right behind the cat. Oh, you hear the heartbeat? It means that Mr. Filch is nearby. All right, got the key. Now I need a way for him to pass by. I hear some high, some sorry, low pitch chattering in the background. Were well, they like a classroom next door? Third, this is the third floor, there's no classrooms about. So I don't know why I'm hearing people's voices through through the wall. There you go, back up there. Yeah, invisibility cloak. Now we can just ignore everybody and the whole stealth dynamic and just coast on by. Man, this place is creepy. They have secret passages everywhere. No one is safe from the watchable eyes of Mr. Filch and Snape. I reckon they've got access to the girls' bathroom too. Alright, let's take a little gander about. Okay, we've got an annoying cat over that way. And we've got the invisibility cloak and Mr. Filch right around the corner from there. Right there. So, oof, it's easier to get spotted by Filch if we go for the invisibility cloak first, then the key. So we're going to go for the key first. Then we're going to come back up here for, to get past Mr. Filch with, with the invisibility cloak. Oh yeah, I remember what the spiders are there for. Yes, yes, yes. You see, the spiders are there for like uh, whenever there's death around in the law of Harry Potter, because it belongs to some other mystical creature in the Black Forest, which is the parent of those small spiders. And in the Harry Potter movie, the first movie, you will see that. I think it's the first movie. Was, or was it the second movie? Harry Potter and Ron follows no the second movie. Yes, this is so strange. They're referencing what's it called? Um, Chambers of Secret. Chambers of Secret. Yeah, where when they follow a spider after someone's been been uh, what's, the, what's the word? You're going petrified. Yeah, they follow the spiders. It leads down to the Black Forest. Well, actually, it leads to Hagrid's hut. Then. To the black forest where the giant spider, giant spider lays. If you don't remember the part of the movie? It's right before where Ron and Harry are saved by that blue car. Okay, we're almost there. That's the door where Fluffy lies. Do not enter. Not. 
Yeah, that's Fluffy. For those of you who don't know, Fluffy's the three-headed dog. From the first movie. Oh! Yes, yes! I forgot about this scene as well. It's the one with the big mirror. That actually shows people's hidden desires and dreams. Get ready, Dumbledore's gonna sneak up behind us. Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? thought Harry. A huge troll is on the rampage. Ooh. It's cornered Hermione in the girls' bathroom. She needs our help. We must try to How do you know Hermione's in away. the bathroom? Come on, Harry. We have to get moving. That's a very creepy thing to know, Ron. Wait, how did he get here without the invisibility cloak? This doesn't make any sense. Run! You and your pervy ways have saved Hermione. Just let me save my game. Alright, 55. Uh, I've got a feeling the cutscene's about to. Oh, it has begun. <laughs> Look at them nervously approaching. <laughs> oh, they got spotted. And how exactly am I supposed to distract this troll, Ron? My wand's barely working. So yeah, it's just basically a, a chase sequence. Survive, survive, we'll have to do survive, get some beans. Those are easily avoidable, so I don't even bother about them. Oh. Come on. Ah, oh, is that a nun? This game is making less and less sense. What's a nun doing at a magical school with witches and wizards? It makes no sense. There's no context for it. This is the whole game or the book. Look at him stomp my head. Really thrilled about stomping my head, aren't you? Yeah, yuck it up, big guy. I'll have you beat yet. Another thing as well, Harry's a very like quiet and non-vocal kid in this entire game. I get he's a quiet kid in the books, but he's not this quiet. It's more like low voice. Maybe 
be some good space between me and him. Or like that. Oh. Oh god, I just clipped through the literal floor and right into the swamp. This is not the way to the girl's bathroom. This is not the way to the girl's bathroom. There's no way this is the route to the girl's bathroom. It will take forever to get to class and to the toilet and back. Alright, you know what? I'm skipping this. I'm gonna fast forward until I get it right. Two hours later. Ooh! I made it, yes! After many, many long, long tries, Are you all many, right, many tries, I finally made it. Harry, I'll try knock, to charm knock. the Trolls Club so it bashes him on the head. Use your knockback jeans to keep those toilets from hitting us. This is the first time you've been useful, Ron. Alright, maybe it's worth having you as a friend after all. There we go. Got me covered. Come on, Ron. Fix your bubble. Ooh, yeah, we got me. Definitely covered. Oh, uh, no. Oh, well. This is, this is for all the times you have failed me as a friend, Ron. Oh. Yeah. Wow! Did you see that? Thank you, boys. Yeah, pointing at the Gryffindor points. In the movie, we get 50 each. 